Imagine you need numbers 1, 1, 1, 1 in each row or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in each row and then uh, some text next to it and you need to create it uh, just like a report or your custom function formula results or oh, sorry, not custom but your generated with uh, built-in function results uh, so you can use arrays as we talked in previous video and also you can use sequence which uh, we shortly touched in the previous video too uh, but this sequence uh, formula a function it deserves more attention and we will uh, talk a little bit more here about it capabilities and what it can do uh, but not everything but we will just cover syntax and cover what you can do with just having this syntax in your hands. Oh, let's go and uh, print equal sign and start uh, typing SE sequence. Next, uh, hit tab to autocomplete this formula, and you see this help. You may see it in an extended view like this. So, what I have rows, column, start, and step. Even if I do sequence without anything, it will give me one. Really, I did not try, but you see it works. It gives me one and it su suggests one here in this uh, pop-up tip. So you can see what will be uh, the result for, for this first row. So then a number of rows, it's easy, let's do one, two, three, four, five. And as we talked about arrays, uh, here we can do something like name one and name two and the horse, let's do it in a quick way and name one and so forth you can see now some strings I'll copy them and paste them just as values uh, next you'll see that we can combine them without a sequence for instance you have different number of items here and you don't know what exact number of them so you can use count a count a here and next we know what sorry not I don't want to do this I don't want to uh, copy this formula down, it suggests me. I want just count A from B1 to B, and that's okay. Next, I can generate a sequence inside curly bracket, and it is an array, sequence of number 5. Next, I'll do this comma, which means I need some, uh, some data next to it. And then I, I want to use this simple uh, B1 through uh, B5. Oh, I forgot to close this color bracket. Next, and that's it. You see, you can combine sequence uh, with an array in this manner. And it's great because now we can have this name fix. Okay. Now it doesn't match. Okay. Six. And if we do something like filter, here, yeah, filter when it doesn't equals to empty and then we add, add something like name 7 name 8 and now it looks beautiful but uh, our tests were about syntax only of this query formula so we went too far here let's go ahead and do it again sequence of I want 5 rows and I want that will be 2 columns here you see, one, two, three, four, so they go like this. Uh, first they count by rows, next they count by columns. It's uh, just expected behavior. Uh, what I want, if I want vice versa, I want, say, it will be two and five here, but I want to transpose it. There is a formula transpose, yes, of course, you can transpose in this way. Now it one, two, three, four, five there, and only then from 6 to 10. If you want to 15, okay, let it be 3 rows here. Yeah. So 3 rows gives, as it, as it is transposed, it gives 3 count here. Yeah. And isn't it beautiful? It's a really very beautiful result. Just with few few tips, a few finger, fingerprints, yeah? Sequen seek, tap, you got the sequence. Okay, let's go ahead and try the start. I want five rows, I want only one column. I don't want to complicate it, but I want to start from two. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, excellent. Next, I want step. 
step by default it is one if i print one nothing changes if i print two i got two then four then six and now it's really cool because without any mass any uh, even old formulas i just got this uh, numbers you see two three i guess all of them are even yes uh, please, please correct me even or odd uh, i can do it, do it wrong so i can spell it wrong tell it wrong i don't don't understand which which is what so it is even i guess it's even numbers because they all are divided by two without uh, rest yeah without you can put like mode remaining without remainder mode this by two will go will always give you zero so we, we've got like even numbers next let's do nine lines we step of three and start with i guess start with zero or start with with three let's start with zero you see zero three six we step of three and that's great that's also great up to 24 what if it will be minus three i don't know wow i got the same but it's negative numbers and one thing i never tried before and i want to try it right now what if step will be one and a half let's see oh oh i don't work i thought it would work it would, it would, it would be like zero then one and a half and etc but you see one and a half is like one and what if one, one and nine so it truncates it truncates all this number one uh, dot nine 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 so it's very close to two but it treats it as one so as you see this trick doesn't work here but of course you can do what you want if you if you know like what to do for instance you have step one then you just multiply this sorry you multiply this by one and a half yeah and that's it but you also need to create an array formula control sheet and enter and that's it you have step one and a half or any step so but this is mess so you need to create some mass equation here each number of, of uh, the result of our sequence will create just one two three four five and then we create some mass operation like multiply or i can uh, do it like this power two so i got power two of each number yeah and it's great it's like mess for you simple mess for you and that's it can you uh, create some just as simple uh, results as it I've made me bigger again uh, just to talk with you can you create more examples but in one condition this uh, example should be just as simple as mine so, so all examples should be short and please write in the comments uh, what uh, ex what you uh, what else you can do with this sequence formula what simple things but powerful powerful things we can achieve here and waiting for your comments.